Hello folks, so today it is uh, May June 2020, paper 41 and the question number is 5. This question is concerned with the chapter electric field. In the first number it says that state one similarity and one difference between the fields of force produced by an isolated point charge and by an isolated point mass. So uh, the first means electric field and the second one means we have to deal with uh, the uh, gravitational field. So it's, the similarity is that uh, in both the cases the field is uh, radial, let us say. The field is uh, radial. Radial means that uh, uh, the field seems to originate from a point, from a point equally to all sides. Or the reverse may be uh, reverse. That means that uh, the field seems to uh, come to that uh, come to that point equally from all sides. And another point of similarity could be uh, that uh, they follow the inverse squared law. They follow the inverse squared law. That means they are uh, inversely proportional to the square of the distance uh, from from the from the center or from the that the uh, center of the charge par charge particle or that mass. And the uh, difference is that in case of electric field, it could be uh, it could be attractive or repulsive force. That means the field could be outward or inward in case of electric field. But in case of a gravitational field, uh, it is just inward. Inward means uh, towards that body, towards that charge, towards that uh, uh, mass, because uh, gravitation is always attractive. So number two, number B. An isolated uh, solid metal sphere A of uh, radius R has charge plus Q plus Q as illustrated in figure 5.1. So as you can see the radius is uh, this capital R. Then this point P is at a distance of uh, 2R from the surface. That means uh, the whole distance from the center will be 2R plus R, 3R. A point P is distance 2R from the surface of the sphere as I have already uh, stated. Determine an expression that includes the terms R and Q for the electric field strength E at point P. So we have to have an expression for the electric field strength which will uh, have Q and R. So the first, uh, the basic formula is the electric field strength here is equal to Q. Q is the charge here plus Q by 4 pi epsilon naught and the distance of this point from the center. So it is simply said let us say R square. But here what we have is the value of this R is equal to 2R plus R. Plus R is 3R. So it is 4 pi epsilon naught then 3R then squared. So it will be equal to Q divided 4 pi epsilon naught 3 3 is a 9 and then R squared. So overall the value will be Q by 9 for the 36 pi epsilon naught r squared so the value will be q divided 36 pi epsilon naught r squared pretty easy uh, this is so next uh, question is okay a second identical solid sphere metal sphere b is now placed near sphere a so previously it was said that it was isolated now it is not isolated because uh, we have now second charged body, second spherical charged body. The centers of the spheres are separated by distance 6R now. So it is 3R here, previous distance, and now another 3R, so it is 6R. Point P lies midway between spheres A and uh, B. So this point P, this point P, now it is here. It is midway between the two spheres. Sphere B has charge minus Q, minus Q. So this is plus Q, this is minus Q. Explain why the magnitude of the electric field strength at P is given by the sum. Sum of the magnitudes of the field strength unit is here. So we have to explain why the total E will be the sum of the individual electric field strengths. So it is because when we say electric field, we consider a, a positive charge body which is stationary. Unit positive charge body which is stationary. So this positive thing, this positive thing will be repelled by this thing. This positive charge body will be repelled by this. So the direction of force is over here. Similarly, this positive charge will be attracted by this because it's negatively charged. So the force or the field will be like this. So when we have to find the resultant field, then we have to add. So the reason is that uh, reason is that one is positive, one is negative, and uh, both of them will have the electric field in the same direction. That is to the right. So add it. Number two. The electric field strength at point P due to charged metal spheres is not in practice equal to 2E. 
So it says that uh, one E that we have found here, found here. So it says that uh, uh, the electric field here will not be equal to 2E, will not be equal to 2E practically. Why? It is because uh, uh, now, now the spheres are not isolated. The spheres, the spheres are no more isolated. No more isolated. So the charges there interact among themselves. The charges there interact among themselves. For example, what could happen is, this is plus, this is minus. So these pluses could attract these minuses. So what would happen is these minuses could 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 uh, gather over here, and these pluses could gather over here. So that could make the overall uh, this separation different. So we have to consider six R because we consider that this is the average position of all these things. This is the average of all the things. But if they shift here and they shift here the ultimate distance will be slightly less so one of the major uh, factors which affect uh, this uh, this uh, uh, the value of these fields here <coughs> this here so that's why uh, the values will be definitely uh, different from uh, what we consider uh, consider in case of uh, uh, consider uh, uh, regarding them as uh, regarding them as isolated things so that's why because of these difficulties uh, uh, during calculation we consider them as isolated so that uh, these complications do not arise.